If you want to command respect and live a life of wisdom, you need to embrace these timeless Stoic principles. Welcome to our journey into the profound teachings of Stoicism, where we'll uncover how you can transform your everyday interactions and personal growth by adopting the habits of the wise. From mastering the power of silence to valuing inner riches over material possessions, we'll guide you through 10 essential Stoic practices that will not only help you gain respect, but also foster a deeper sense of inner peace and strength. Let's dive in and discover how these age-old principles can bring a powerful change to your life today. Number 1. Embrace silence, the power of keeping confidentiality. Imagine a time when you shared a secret with someone you trusted, only to find out later that they had betrayed your confidence. It's a feeling that cuts deep and damages relationships. Now, picture a wise old man living in a tranquil village whose wisdom was sought by many. This man knew the power of keeping confidentiality and the importance of silence. In Stoicism, the value of silence is paramount. Keeping someone's secret is not just about loyalty, it's about integrity and respect. When you honor confidentiality, you build trust and strengthen your bonds with others. It shows that you are reliable and respectful of others' vulnerabilities. Why should we embrace this stoic principle? Because gossip and the spreading of secrets can lead to discord and mistrust. In a world where information spreads rapidly, the ability to keep silent about confidential matters is a rare and valuable trait. It prevents unnecessary conflicts and fosters a sense of security among those around you. How can you apply this in your life? Start by listening more and speaking less, especially when someone shares something in confidence. Resist the urge to spread rumors or divulge secrets, even if it seems harmless. Remember, true wisdom lies in the power of silence and the strength to keep what is shared with you in confidence. By embracing this stoic practice, you'll find that people trust you more and your relationships become stronger and more meaningful. Number two, guard your plans. Stoic wisdom in protecting your intentions. Let's take a moment to reflect on times when you eagerly shared your plans with others, only to encounter unexpected obstacles and negativity. It's a common experience that can leave you feeling discouraged and demotivated. Now, think of the same wise man from the village. He often reminded people of the importance of guarding their plans and intentions. In the realm of Stoicism, guarding your plans is about being cautious and strategic. Not everyone around you wishes for your success, and by sharing your intentions prematurely, you might attract unnecessary hurdles. Stoics believe in letting your actions speak louder than your words. This principle is not about secrecy, but about wisdom and prudence. Why is this important? Because when you reveal your plans too early, you open yourself up to potential criticism and interference. By keeping your intentions close to your chest, you maintain control over your progress and can move forward without external pressures or negativity. This stoic approach ensures that you stay focused and determined without being swayed by others' opinions. How can you practice this? Next time you have a goal or plan, resist the urge to broadcast it widely. Instead, work diligently and let your achievements speak for themselves. Share your successes once they are realized, rather than your intentions. This method not only protects your plans, but also builds a reputation for reliability and success. By following this stoic wisdom, you'll find yourself more productive and less hindered by external factors. Number three, avoid complaints, fostering positivity through stoic resilience. Think back to moments when you felt overwhelmed by complaints, either from yourself or others. It's draining and often breeds negativity. Now, envision the young man from the neighboring village who felt an emptiness inside despite his social skills. 
The wise man challenged him to live in silence, one piece of advice being to avoid complaints. Stoicism teaches us to focus on solutions rather than problems. Complaining spreads negativity and does little to resolve issues. Instead, Stoics advocate for resilience and a positive mindset, even in the face of adversity. This doesn't mean ignoring problems, but approaching them with a constructive attitude. Why should we avoid complaints? Because they create an environment of dissatisfaction and helplessness. Complaints can poison relationships and hinder progress. By fostering a positive outlook, you can tackle challenges more effectively and inspire those around you to do the same. It's about finding strength in silence and focusing on what you can control. How can you apply this in your life? Start by becoming aware of your complaints. When you catch yourself about to complain, pause and reframe the situation. Look for a solution or a positive aspect instead. Encourage others to do the same by leading by example. This stoic resilience will transform not only your mindset, but also the atmosphere around you, making it more positive and conducive to growth. Number 4. Quiet Generosity the stoic approach to acts of kindness. Remember the last time you did something kind for someone without expecting anything in return. It's a gratifying feeling, isn't it? The wise man from our story often spoke about the importance of quiet generosity, doing good deeds without seeking recognition or reward. In Stoicism, true generosity is about selflessness and humility. Acts of kindness should be their own reward, creating invisible but deeply felt ripples of goodwill. When you give without expecting anything in return, you embody the stoic principle of virtue for its own sake. Why is quiet generosity so powerful? Because it fosters genuine connections and builds a community based on mutual respect and care. Seeking recognition can taint the purity of your actions and create a transactional mindset. True kindness comes from a place of genuine concern for others, without the need for external validation. How can you practice this? Make a conscious effort to help others quietly, whether it's volunteering, supporting a friend, or donating to a cause. Do it without seeking praise. Let your actions speak for themselves and inspire others. This stoic approach to generosity will not only enrich your life, but also create a positive impact on those around you, fostering a culture of kindness and compassion. Number 5. Empathy over criticism, understanding human imperfection. We've all been guilty of criticizing others, sometimes harshly. But think about how it feels to be on the receiving end of such criticism. It's hurtful and often demoralizing. The wise man's advice to the young apprentice included avoiding the habit of pointing out others' flaws and mistakes, advocating for empathy instead. Stoicism emphasizes understanding and compassion over judgment. We are all human and imperfect, and recognizing this fosters empathy. Criticism can lead to pride and resentment, whereas empathy builds bridges and strengthens relationships. Why is empathy crucial? Because it promotes a sense of unity and understanding. When you empathize with others, you acknowledge their struggles and imperfections, just as you would want yours to be acknowledged. This stoic practice creates a supportive and nurturing environment where people feel valued and understood. How can you cultivate empathy? Start by listening more and judging less. When you feel the urge to criticize, try to understand the other person's perspective instead. Offer support and encouragement rather than judgment. By practicing empathy, you create a more compassionate and understanding world, aligning with the stoic principles of wisdom and humanity. Number 6. Face your fears. Stoic courage in confronting personal demons. Think about a time when you were afraid to share your fears with others. Maybe it was fear of failure, rejection, 
or something deeply personal. The wise old man advised the young apprentice to never express his fears without reason. Stoicism teaches us that expressing fears without filtering them can amplify others' power over us and spread unnecessary anxiety. In the realm of Stoicism, facing your fears with courage is a core principle. Instead of vocalizing every fear, Stoics encourage introspection to understand their origin and develop the strength to confront them silently. This doesn't mean bottling up emotions, but rather processing them internally to find courage and resilience. Why is this important? Because expressing fears recklessly can make you vulnerable and give others the opportunity to exploit your weaknesses. By understanding and facing your fears quietly, you build inner strength and maintain control over your emotions. This stoic courage helps you navigate life's challenges with a calm and composed mindset. How can you practice this? Next time you feel overwhelmed by fear, take a moment to reflect on its source. Write down your fears and analyze them privately. Develop a plan to address these fears without broadcasting them to everyone. Seek support from trusted individuals if needed, but avoid making your fears a topic of general conversation. This stoic approach will help you build resilience and face your fears with quiet confidence. Number 7. True Wealth – Valuing Inner Riches Over Material Possessions Reflect on the times you've felt defined by your possessions or wealth. In our society, there's a constant pressure to showcase material success. The wise man from our story advised against making wealth or possessions a topic of conversation, emphasizing that true wealth lies in the heart and mind, not in material treasures. Stoicism teaches us to value inner riches, such as wisdom, virtue and personal growth, over material possessions. By focusing on what truly matters, you cultivate a sense of contentment and inner peace that material wealth can never provide. Why should we adopt this stoic perspective? Because material possessions are fleeting and can lead to envy and materialism. True wealth, on the other hand, is enduring and rooted in our character and values. By valuing inner riches, you create a foundation of happiness and fulfillment that external factors cannot shake. How can you apply this? Start by shifting your focus from acquiring material goods to nurturing your inner self. Practice gratitude for the intangible aspects of your life, such as relationships, knowledge and personal growth. Avoid flaunting your possessions and instead Engage in conversations that reflect your values and interests. This stoic approach will help you find true contentment and inspire others to do the same. Number 8. Think before you speak. The stoic art of measured words. Recall a moment when you said something impulsively and regretted it later. It's a common experience that can strain relationships and cause unnecessary conflicts. The wise man's advice to the young apprentice included the importance of thinking through everything you say, a principle deeply rooted in Stoicism. Stoicism teaches the art of measured words, thinking carefully before speaking to avoid causing harm to yourself or others. Words are powerful tools that can build or destroy, and a wise person uses them thoughtfully and deliberately. Why is this important? because impulsive communication can lead to misunderstandings and emotional wounds. By thinking before you speak, you demonstrate wisdom, self-control and respect for others. This stoic practice helps you communicate more effectively and maintain harmonious relationships. How can you practice this? Make a habit of pausing before responding, especially in emotionally charged situations. Consider the impact of your words and choose them wisely. Practice active listening to understand others better before expressing your thoughts. This stoic approach to communication will enhance your relationships and foster a more respectful and understanding environment. Number 9. Promote peace. 
avoiding provocations and disputes. Think of a time when you were drawn into an unnecessary argument or provoked by someone else's words. It's easy to get caught up in conflicts that escalate quickly and lead to regrettable consequences. The wise old man taught the importance of avoiding provocations and disputes, a lesson deeply aligned with Stoic philosophy. Stoicism emphasizes the value of peace over being right. Provocations and disputes often stem from ego and pride, leading to unnecessary tension and strained relationships. A Stoic person understands that true strength lies in maintaining peace and avoiding conflicts that serve no constructive purpose. Why should we avoid provocations? Because conflicts can escalate and lead to lasting damage in relationships and even personal safety. By promoting peace, you create a more harmonious and supportive environment, both for yourself and those around you. This Stoic principle helps you focus on constructive and respectful dialogues instead of heated arguments. How can you apply this? Practice restraint when faced with provocation. Take a deep breath and choose not to engage in unnecessary disputes. Focus on finding common ground and resolving conflicts peacefully. When others try to provoke you, respond with calmness and composure. This stoic approach will help you navigate conflicts with grace and foster a more peaceful and respectful environment. Number 10. Honesty above all, the stoic foundation of trust. Reflect on a time when honesty played a crucial role in your relationships. Whether it was building trust or facing difficult truths, honesty is a cornerstone of meaningful connections. The wise man's advice included the importance of honesty, a value held in high regard by Stoics. Stoicism teaches that honesty is fundamental for long-lasting and healthy relationships. Lies undermine trust and create a web of falsehoods that can become unsustainable. By practicing honesty, you cultivate integrity and build strong, trustworthy relationships. Why is honesty so crucial? Because trust is the foundation of all meaningful interactions. Without honesty, relationships become fragile and prone to conflict. By being truthful, you foster an environment of trust and reliability, which is essential for personal and professional growth. How can you practice this? Commit to being truthful in all your interactions. Avoid lying, even in situations where it might seem easier or more convenient. If you make a mistake, own up to it and seek to make amends. This stoic commitment to honesty will strengthen your relationships and build a reputation of integrity and trustworthiness. As we wrap up our exploration of stoic wisdom, remember that these timeless principles are not just theoretical concepts, but practical tools for transforming your life. By embracing silence, guarding your plans, fostering positivity, practicing quiet generosity, and cultivating empathy, you are laying the foundation for a life of respect, wisdom, and inner strength. These habits can guide you through challenges and help you build meaningful relationships rooted in trust and integrity. Drop a 100 if you've watched this far. This shows that you're part of the 0.01% who actually finish what they start. If you're serious about making a lasting change in your life, join our community by subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.